Hello and welcome back to Doctor Who at the Edge of Time. So we finished the main game. We finished the sort of, I think it was the four chapters that were on the main campaign. And as I said, I would look at Arcade and the DLC Time Lord Victorious. So let's look at the DLC first. This is the 10th Doctor's TARDIS. It's powered down right now and it really shouldn't be here. We need to get it powered up and sent wherever it needs to be. We need to solve a puzzle in order to use the power-up TARDIS. Special items are hidden throughout the edge of time. You need to find them and bring them back here. Ah. You need to go back through the edge of time and find eight very important items that will help us get to the TARDIS powered up. Ah, okay. So all those special items that we've been finding throughout the different missions actually have some relevance here. And I think I've only got five of eight, so I actually don't have all of the items. Am I supposed to do something with this? Ah, there we go. So we can move this. I don't know where I'm supposed to put it, though. Maybe it's like a suit or something that it all... So it connects together. Oh yeah, so I'm not going to be able to actually do this until until I get uh, all eight of the missing items. I hope the game is going to show us which ones were missing and which chapters. Um, but I've got one there, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've got five. So without the rest of the items, I'm not going to be able to do much. So, okay, so I've gone back and I've collected all eight collectibles. Took a little while. Let's go back to the TARDIS. So what do we do now? We have everything we need. Head to the central console and access the terminal. You need to match the audio clips to each item. You need to match them all so that the TARDIS can be powered up. Audio clips, eh? Use the handle to lock in your answer and use the dial to skip any audio clips you want to return to later. The old were nothing without us, just animals roaming around on the ice. That's because you can't hear them. They welcomed it. It's not as if they put up a fight. You idiot. They're born with their brains in their hands. Don't you see? That makes them peaceful. They've got to because a creature like that would have to trust anyone it meets. Oh, nice one. Thank you. Um, how do we, how do we choose? Do we have to bring one over? Um, what could they be talking about? Um, any of these? Creature it talked about. Let's go for this. Is that how we do it? Do we drag it along? Ah, there. I've activated it into the console. And then pull the lever. Oh! Pull the lever, crunk. Kate Lethbridge Stewart, former chief scientific officer of unit, recording from black site 51 degrees 30 minutes 47.7 seconds north, 0 degrees 8 minutes 51.9 seconds west. If you're listening to this message, there is clearly something very special about you. You've displayed an aptitude and capability that we would normally only expect from our top operatives. You've also discovered the dossier on the disappearance of Sergeant Robert Dudley. I believe Sergeant Dudley is still alive and out there somewhere and can be rescued. But after the shutdown of UNIT, we have limited personnel and are woefully understaffed. As you're listening to this, you've already come so far in aiding us, perhaps you'd be willing to go even further. We're putting together an operation to enter the time fracture and put a stop to its spread. This mission is of the utmost importance. Life as we know it hangs in the balance, and I believe Operation Time Fracture needs you. That's got to so be it. Consider this. Hey, that one was right. Yeah, that was definitely the dossier. For a long time now, I thought I was just a survivor, but I'm not. 
I'm the winner. That's who I am. The Time Lord Victorious. Um. And there's no one to stop you. No. This is wrong, Doctor. Uh, maybe this thing? <laughs> It'd be helpful if I knew all of these items and what they are in relevance to Doctor Who. It's been years since I watched it. Damn it! Go on, next one. That jewel is valuable. Jewel! Let's see what it kindles inside you, said the Couture. This stone has unique properties. It is sensitive to truth. I think we can increase the effect. That's got to be it. That's the only jewel. Yay! Black scrolls of Rexilor. Interesting. I thought they were out of print. Well, don't touch, Doctor. This is forbidden knowledge from the Dark Tower. Hmm. Black scrolls. Could it be this one? In the lockbox? Yes, black scrolls. See, it's fairly easy when you know what you're doing. Well, kind of. I still have no idea what that first one would have been. Huzzah! There was once an old hermit from the mountains of South Gallifrey. He lived a very sheltered life. Yes. Yes, he did. He used to tell me ghost stories. I like a ghost story. Want to hear one? No. It's about a race of giant vampires. Ah. They came out of nowhere. Swarm, swarm. What did they do, Doctor? Swarm, that was the word he used. They swarmed all over the universe. This is a stick. And they were so strong. One single vampire could suck the life out of an entire planet. One single vampire could suck the life out of an entire planet? Yes. Rubbish. Well, he wasn't a scientist. There are other ways of looking at life, you know. Anyway, according to the story, we Time Lords hunted them down across the universe in a war so long and so bloody that we were sickened of violence forever. That'll do it. Stick. Mmm, stick. <laughs> fantastic! Oh, fantastic! Paulus, look. Dalek. The great space dustbin. How does it feel? I watched oh, these ones. What are you going to do to me? If you can't kill, then what are you good for, Dalek? Knew it. Here we go. Correct. The Vargas are here. The Daleks are too. Ooh. That was a very short audio clip. Vargas. So we've done them four, five. So it's either one of these things. Hmm, it's one of them two, or that weird looking thing. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. But let's see. This is a very nice TARDIS though, I must say. Sugar. Give it another go. Oh god, we've got to do it again. The Vargas are here. The Daleks are too. Right, that must be the Vargas. There's probably people shouting at the screen saying, you're clueless. In which you're right. Because I don't know some of these. The old were nothing without us, just animals roaming around on the ice. That's because you can't hear them. They welcomed it. It's not as if they put up a fight. Must be that. Idiot. 
They're born with their brains in their hands. Don't you see? That makes them peaceful. They've got to be, because a creature like that would have to trust anyone it meets. Oh, nice one. Thank you. Yay! Right, I definitely know the rest of them now. Kate Lethbridge Stewart, former chief scientific officer of UNIT, recording from black site 51 degrees, 30 minutes, 47.7 seconds north, zero degrees, eight minutes, 51.9 seconds west. If you're listening to this message. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm going to win her. Winner, winner. That's who I am. Chicken dinner. Time Lord Victorious. It's definitely this one. Hey, hey. That jewel is valuable. I see what it kindles inside you. Is the couture? This stone has unique property. It is sensitive to truth. Of course it is. That's correct. Black scrolls of Rexy. Interesting. Black scrolls. Well, don't touch, Doctor. I didn't touch it. it. Knowledge I just scanned it. It was once a from the mountains of South Gallifrey. Lead a very sheltered life. Yes. There we go. Right, how many is left? <laughs> Dalek. Exterminate. Pause. Look. The great space dustbin. How does it feel? Got that right. <gasps> I did it. Right, what now? We need this Sonic to get out of here. To get the tire just powered up, point the Sonic at the control panel. And let's get out of here. <gasps> Your Sonic screwdriver's changed, look. Oh yeah. Okay, so that was that. That was a uh, bit of a weird sort of quiz thing, but you did get to look at the the tenth Doctor's TARDIS. So that was pretty cool. Arcade mode. So we've got Time Vortex, TARDIS, Dalek Shooter, Weeping Angels. Let's have a look at Time Vortex. So I think this is uh, replaying areas of the game so the time vortex is literally the opening credits uh tardis i think it's just gonna let us explore the tardis but we'll have a look welcome aboard come in then make yourself at home thank you i will we should have time to give you a guided tour but we're up against it we can't get distracted so here's the skinny do people still say here's the skinny what actually is the skinny never understood it to be honest with you i mean sorry easily distracted yeah. big picture I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. Yeah, so I think it's just putting you back into... So I think it's, it's kind of like the chapter select almost. Um... It, it's called arcade mode, but I guess it's just if you ever want to jump into a specific a specific point. So I guess you can go in there, and it's the in, first introductory bit to the TARDIS, and I guess you can just play about with the TARDIS a bit. And then you've got the Dalek shooter, which I'm going to guess is... Boom. Yeah, so it, it is. I mean, it's it's pretty much just chapter select, if you ask me. Yeah, so, I mean, it's cool that it's there, but I don't know what's what's different about choosing arcade to choosing chapters. You can go into any of these chapters uh, that you like. Although, I will say, um, choosing the Dalek shooter from arcade is probably quicker than going into chapter 4, because chapter 4 you have to do a, a chunk of the mission before you can actually go into the Dalek, so yeah, maybe... Going into Dalek Shooter is a quicker way to do it if you just want to go in and shoot some Daleks uh, than replaying the whole chapter, I guess. And then Weeping Angels, 
I'm guessing is the lift area um, segment of the level. Yeah, so it's taken you to this section. And I'll, um, of the mission rather than having to play the first part of the chapter which was the, the sort of London office and um, so you can jump straight to the Weeping Angels challenge so if, if you're a fan of it that's a lot of spider webs um, and you want to jump into your favourite part if your favourite part was the Weeping Angels or the Dalek shooter if you just want to get all psychedelic with the um, with the opening credits and the vortex then yeah Arcade, I guess, is is all right, but it doesn't look like there's any sort of new challenges or anything like that. Um, arcade mode, I, I thought, might have had a bit more substance to it, but hey, it's just ways to jump into different segments of the game. Not too bad. Um, so I did enjoy. I did enjoy the game. It, I think it's a very good game, but I think it's a very short game. So you can see here from the chapters, there's only eight collectibles. Uh, which you do need for the DLC, uh, the Time Lord Victorious bit. Um, but there's only five chapters. Story's great, it was fun. Graphics and immersion and atmosphere and everything, really great. Sonic Screwdriver is brilliant. Each chapter brings something different. You're shooting Daleks, you're doing a sort of uh, puzzle, trying to survive with the Weeping Angels, quite fun. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's a different puzzle in each one, different sort of mission. I enjoyed it. It's just short. I, w I wish there was a bit more to it. Uh, maybe future DLCs, who knows. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.